Define blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. Well, I've alluded to it. Incidentally, we have a whole lesson that will cover that. Blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. First of all, the biblical definition for blasphemy is putting yourself in the place of God. The Jews were going to stone Jesus for blasphemy because they said, you being a man makest yourself God. When God, the Spirit, tells you to do something, you say, no, I'm going to be God. Over a period of time, you grieve away the Holy Spirit. It doesn't happen necessarily in one or two days or one or two instances. But you develop, as I said a moment ago, a callus on your spiritual hearing, so finally you don't hear the radio anymore. You don't hear God's frequency anymore. You've turned him off. The Bible says if we turn away our ear from hearing the law, even our prayer is an abomination. In other words, if we get to the place where when God's talking to us and every time he talks to us, we go like this, pretty soon he stops talking because it's an insult. And then we're talking to God and he goes like this. That's what the Bible says. If we shut our ears to the cry of the poor, someday we will cry and God will not hear us. We turn away our ear from hearing the law of God when he's saying this is my will, then we'll pray and he won't hear us. And so, you know, the Bible has that principle all the way through it. God will always hear a sincere prayer of repentance. You understand that? Mm -hmm. But he's not going to answer your shopping list when you're not listening to him. There's no promise for that. 